let's let's transition now, guys, to the the story that everybody wants to talk about. <laughs> Mr. Steinberg knows it as well as anybody. We're talking about the wedding of Robert Griffin III to Rebecca Lidicote. Nice. And Dan, I want to ask you first, are you surprised at the level of coverage and interest in this wedding in the least? Not in the least, not remotely. I mean, the, tons of people are, you know what, I'm gonna change, this, change the subject already. <laughs> I had a conversation with a friend of mine. This is, like, the NFL is the biggest sport in America yep. by a huge margin, and there's not a lot going on in early July. There's just not a lot going on. So wh why doesn't the NFL Network every July sponsor a player's wedding? And they say, hey, we'll give you $10,000 to help with your costs. Thank you have I'll to give us- that there. What's that? I said, I think I'll take that idea That's a good there. idea, right? Yeah, absolutely. You have to give us all access, give us a little bit of access to the bachelor party, some behind the scenes while they're getting dressed. You know, there's going to be teammates there, there's going to be coaches, and I think <laughs> it's not, you know, if Robert Griffin III That's gets gold. married in a private ceremony with eight people in Aruba, it would still be interest, but the fact that it's in Denver, they have the rehearsal dinner at Mike Shanahan's Steakhouse, Dan Snyder is there, Bruce Allen is there, Rex Grossman is there, Kirk Cousins is there, a million other teammates are there, of course people are going to be interested. This is the franchise quarterback surrounded by his teammates and coaches, of course people are going to be interested. But conversely, if I'm not mistaken, Namdi Asamoah just, just married, married Kerry, Kerry Washington, Washington. Yes. and there wasn't much buzz about I that. She's I, an actress, right? I wish right? I could be in their, their <laughs> wedding. I, I wish. Well, uh, I wish I could just ju be a part of their whole deal. That's, I mean, that, you're talking about an. Is she she's not an A-lister, maybe. Is she an A-lister? Yes, she is. is she A-lister? Yes. She's a, a, okay, A-lister. I'm not a Hollywood guy. Kerry Washington. Woo! All right, so she's an A-lister. He's, he's not. not he's, not he's, not an he's not an A-list. He's not an A-list NFL player, but A-list Hollywood celebrity. And an NFL, you know, a high-profile NFL player. Sure. And it's not even close to the buzz around RG3. I mean, it's I what he's it meant very, to the franchise. Uh, 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 well, what he means to the NFL. Yeah, totally. I mean, he is a big figure within the National Football League. I mean, you, you see the commercials running for the awards thing on the awards show. And yes, he's the guy. Well, I didn't want to give him any free, oh, free plug. But, <laughs> you know, the, the interesting thing about it is everybody is leveraging Robert Griffin III. Yeah. Right. And and so even when the NFL the NFL sent out a happy fourth like Fourth of July tweet and it was it was starring four NFL quarterbacks and he was one of them. It was like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, RG three. I mean, he's that's very, the company he keeps. He's he's a very provocative person, and and I think people people really enjoy it. I mean, you got a, a guy to look at him. If you're judging a book by its cover, you're not going to assume that Robert Griffin the third is the person that he is. I think there are so many intriguing aspects about Robert Griffin the third that people are compelled to want to know more and more about him. So I think it's more compelling. Like we mentioned, our Namdi Asamoah marries, you know, Kerry Washington. Like that's go boy. But here's the thing: <laughs> then you have the the center from uh, that that girls team, the girls league team that that gets engaged to Brooke Hogan. Right, so you got all these power couples coming out. I think another thing Kevin that Durant. makes, huh? not Kevin, Kevin Durant. No, so Kevin Durant got engaged. Yeah, to right. Durant, too, yeah, from what, the WNBA. Right, from the yeah, WNBA. Yeah. So yeah. I think there's a whole lot of power couples out here. I think the cool thing about RG3 is he didn't change. Right, he's that's not a power couple. They are now, but they she, are, she was they she wasn't a power. They part. are a power couple because him. he's power. He is right, right, now, and that's right. all. That's enough power for the two of them. But but the thing about it is, <laughs> she has she has had a brand that's been created that yeah. they need to leverage just because of him. She could sell like beauty products. Like who is right? this? <laughs> who is this lady that that goes through college with this guy, and once the the ride picked up, once you not, once you got to the top of the roller coaster, now it's coming down and going through the loops. She's still on board. It didn't. It was. She wasn't replaced by a Kerry Washington or a yeah. Jada Pinkett or you know Holly Berry or any of those. <laughs> Eva Mendez, you know all them. She wasn't replaced. The bars she was, is who? Cold she water. was. Mount Rushmore of, uh, of she was not replaced. And I think that that's. I think that's provocative news that he actually <laughs> stood. I'm sitting there. I was thinking to myself, you married her. That's why I said to myself, like, wow, you really married her. You're Robert Griffin the third. You could go to any 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 event any networking sit because he's probably not a big partier he could go to any like awards ceremony whatever you know the mtv music awards the bt awards sort whatever awards he could do anything 
and he stayed true to it. But you know what? When I he's respect running, it. When he was running for governor of, of Texas, people would hold that against him if he was doing that. And now Listen, he's got, he's got a spotless that. resume. I, I respect RG3. As a, as a man, I respect RG3. Best of oh. luck to them. The Who knew that he was going to be so nuptials. passionate about this? Oh, yeah. I respect RG3, man, because that's, right. that's something. I mean, for me, I, I fell short, and I had a I, I'm not saying it, it has nothing to do with how she looks or anything. Like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I had a gorgeous fiancé, right, coming out of high school sweetheart, and we were not able to handle all of the craziness that came. And I was, I was the most high-profile guy before RG3. Now, keep that in mind. The, the, you, if you want to go back to most high-profile guys in coming the, in, in DC, there in D.C. DC, yeah, okay. Well, even yeah, coming, and, and, I mean, and just coming into the draft, like, you know, in D.C., yeah, for certain, because Cam Newton was. I don't know. Deal. Samuels was a pretty big guy. So, draft. anyways, <laughs> the, the thing about it is we weren't even, you know, how I was, I <laughs> it, we weren't able to handle it. I mean, I'm, I'm. Is that a we I, I'm or meeting, me? Uh, well, I. I think it was we. Okay. But it was a lot of me All right. within the we. <laughs> All right. I mean, they say there's no I in team, but there is a me in team, yeah, you know. Right. So there was some things on her end that, that were difficult to handle. But there were all, you know, you'd be surprised how attractive women become to guys being associated with a NFL or a professional ball player. Like, guys want to deal with those type of girls. It's like the same thing. But we weren't, you know, I, we weren't able to navigate that. Right. And we ended up not being together. So I'm saying there, and he's way, way more high profile than I was. That's, that's, that's a commendable thing. That, in all seriousness, like, that is very commendable that he came in. He was a mega star. He lived up to his potential, went through a lot, and still maintained the course with the person he loved. I mean, I, that's, that's a beautiful well, thing. I feel like the natural follow-up question is to ask if you think it'll last, given all oh, what you just on, said. let's not go there. Yeah, I don't know about all those things, because I don't know the <laughs> dynamic of their, their relationship. So but far, I'll say this, the fact that they're together and got married yep. through everything that this whirlwind of, of what RG3 has become over the course of, what, 20, 20 to 30-some months? Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I everything we know about him, nothing, nothing. It's says hard to that it it's hard to think that work yeah. out. I mean, kids change things, but that's a whole nother. It's not about oh, RG yeah, well. or 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 her. I think that that's the whole dynamic of now. You're talking about the institution of marriage, which is a whole nother. That's a whole nother deal. The show is gone. Uh, <laughs> <place> <laughs> I did not the institution of marriage. Well, thank you, uh, Lavar, for that.